So Nick, what was your greatest take out, take out tonight? Um, well, for my main response person, um, is just some of the other revenue streams that yep. we, we get to. Um, I love the, well that's probably my greatest, but... Yeah, do you think breaking it up, keeping it simple with those three different options, like you've got, you've got, a, you've got a gap with your school board, yeah? Yep. But potentially the directory and the branding is something you can look at, yeah? Mm -hmm. I'll finish with the press. What about yourself? What was your take out? I'm putting you under the pump here. What was your learning? Your, your learning? Yeah. Well, I was to work smarter, not harder. Love it. Uh, yeah. Pretty much have databases etc. in place to facilitate the use of resources you've got, which is all you need <coughs> to use. Database. It's nearly from tonight. I'll be spending the next before you do your membership drive in the next month. Oh. We'll be finished, guys, in about five minutes. So just hang in there. <laughs> um, um, database, start building that up and collating and you'd be amazed. Um, does that tidy HQ option look up, look worth exploring? That that database? Yeah, yep. What, what about yourself, Um Structure, the three levels of structure. Three levels? Mm. Makes it easier for people to buy into. Things. Decision makers in the red? The green is it's often just the people in the red have normally filled. It's usually the gaps are in the yellow. And then starting to plug people into holes with the, in those black boxes. What about you, mate? Uh, yeah, much, much the same. The other thing um, is exposure. Um, you know, to get the club more known in the community. Yeah. And you can only do that by building your membership. So building membership. So membership probably hasn't been a focus previously, as such, through your Viking club a little bit. Only through the Viking club. But do you think it's, it's a shift, isn't it? Yeah. Mm. Yep. And that's why the players play such an important role. Yeah. Yeah. I think yeah. So. Oh, look, the same about the, the, the structure, um, knowing that people can just point to one thing on that little black button and go, that's, that's you. for you. You don't need to worry about the rest of that. That's just you. So you need to work out who that person is coordinating that. And it's probably a key decision um, for you, mate. Yeah. Oh, the, the membership's definitely a vital um, thing, but it's getting that structure in place to be able to push it. It's the hardest thing, I think. Yeah. Something that's been identified a few times, but... You've got to get some sort of structure to push it. Yeah. So at the moment, you don't have anyone driving it. Uh, for me, it's identifying uh, people's strengths and making sure those people are in the right spot. Exactly. Put on pressure on the big fella here. <laughs> He's going into his fifth year, just qualified physio. What are you up to? What do you think, mate? Um, I think getting more people, inviting more people to the club and getting them involved. Inviting more people? Yeah, like going out into the community and bringing people in yeah, to yeah. the club. So well, I'm going to, I'm going to, what about you, mate? I'm going to ask you, what, what was your biggest learning from tonight? As you involved with coaching or playing? Or? Uh, oh, a little bit of junior coaching and on the committee um, as the secretary. So, What resonated with you tonight? Um, probably the, uh, uh, the three layers of structure. Um, but probably... Uh, really leveraging off that membership database to fill in to fill some of those roles 100%. Um, i think some people may not um have the want or ability to make a financial commitment but they may be willing to volunteer correct um, for one or more roles throughout the year so that yep. could be a product of the membership database as well yep, yep. he's got a luke o'sullivan look i like down the back okay. <laughs> sure does anyone know who luke o'sullivan is yeah. played it many years ago oh, he did he did what about you, mate? You, um, you're a dad or were you involved? I'm a, I'm a dad, yeah. Two lovely children. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, I mean, I think you look at all the committees sitting here, I mean, it's buying from everyone else in the club, isn't it? You want more than one person doing all the jobs that are needing to be done around the place. But certainly from a junior's point of view, I think we need to get more junior parents involved in the club as well. Although we do see a lot of the parents sitting on the committee, but I think otherwise, if you don't, Grow the junior football, you don't end up with a senior club. And that's spot on. And I think, you know, it's it, that's a challenge, with particularly that 14 to 18 year old age bracket is a, is getting difficult. Um, sometimes you need to think a little bit differently. What about you, mate? What, what do you think of tonight? Oh, it was really good, uh, but thank you. Yeah. Presentation, but um, uh, also a, a young uh, junior parent, uh, volunteer where I can. It's, uh, I think one of the big things for me is communication. Is, I, I don't recall seeing the flyer information about last year's ball. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Facebook for some in the room. Maybe good. <laughs> yeah, but not for you.
and that's why that database and that newsletter is is really important sounds like you're doing the communication but maybe it's both form what you're you know, what about you mate what do you think oh i think the um past uh, um player and uh, membership drives an absolute critical one mm. um and uh i just thought in your presentation the senior players getting to know our junior players yeah like planting that seed for the future so these seniors do know a few of the juniors yeah um but the database yeah, yeah. would be Who's a, is it, is it got a captain here or in, who's in the leadership group of the senior team? Anyone, hands up? Up here? Video. Uh, actually, it's the coach. Mate, can you come up for a second? I'm going to, what's your, because the buy-in from the coaches is. I think it's all about spreading the load across the whole club by not leaving it just up to, you know, half a dozen people to do it. From what I've seen since I've been here is there's select few people that have um, been involved in the uh, running of the club. Yep. and um, be part of a like a whole club and uh, right, right from the uh, people filling the water bottles on a Saturday right up to the players right up to you know people just volunteering to yep. do stuff without being having to be coaxed all the time yeah um, so do you see is your thoughts about the role that you and the players can play in the club change a little bit we can we can definitely change that we've got to get buy-in um, from the players and uh, it's all about them sort of wanting to volunteer for things, not having to be forced into doing something. Yeah. Um, wanting to be where they are, like helping the juniors, yep. not me having to tell them I just yeah. want you to turn up on a Sunday morning to uh, to help out with the junior academy. It's about guys actually putting their hand up and volunteering to do it. Yeah. Tonight, and I look, and I apologise to the players. I'm, I give them a little bit of a hard time, to be honest. <laughs> you probably you saw that, but um, I think it's. It's just hard work. There's a lot of people doing a lot of great stuff. And it's about raising the bar and working smarter, mm. not harder. And the players, I know we'll, we, we couldn't do what we do at Coral M without the players' involvement. I want to get one player from this group, the bloke with the orange over the back. <laughs> <laughs> You a senior player? Uh, yeah. You're the captain? Premiership <laughs> captain? <laughs> so, but mate, did, but... <laughs> oh, was it two's captain, was it? Yeah. Oh, well, we, we'll cut that bit out. <laughs> 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 but, uh, but do you appreciate the involvement of you guys and what's required? Yeah, yeah, so... Ed, can, you, and can I just encourage everyone to get on the front foot? Don't... For host tonight, you guys get in... The coaches... The players get on the front foot, come to committee. This is what we can do, right? Yeah. And that's will give them a boost because it's very good at sucking the life out of good people, and you end up losing good people if you don't change that model. Yeah. yeah. So you can play a big part of that, yeah. Oh yeah, just captain us the game. That's all. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to finish off. I'm going to finish off with uh, Simon. What about so? Actually, when it was it? I think it was Cass. I think we. I spoke a couple of years ago at a forum in Adelaide. So you've got a good memory, so it's uh, and that's and I think we had a phone call a couple of weeks ago. Said we need something hap to happen reasonably quickly. So over to you, Simon. What your just your summary of the night, and yeah. what are you hoping that the next steps of people around here? Yeah. Look, to be honest, can I just say, I normally do these sessions anywhere from between ten and fifty people, more often ten, twenty, or thirty, but this is in the top two or three size um, audiences that I've had. Some of my clubs I walk into have barely got a pulse. I see a massive pulse here. A massive pulse. It's about harnessing that, you know, the, the energy. And when you get success, um, it's all worth it. It's all worth it. And it's a lot of bloody hard work that goes into it. So I want back to show you some. Yeah, uh, yeah look, um, a lot of what you spoke about resonated with me, a lot of it sort of ideas I've been thinking about. Um, yeah, and it was, we were, I was a bit um, sort of nervous, I suppose, about having the players here. It's been a fair bit to sit through, but I think it's good for them to see how a football club actually runs. Um, and yeah, it works both ways. Um, so I, I think for me, yeah, it's about what we've got to do now though, is actually go away from here and get people putting up their hands to buy in Yep. to do things it's very easy to sit here and say oh it's a good idea yeah how about this how about that but 
it actually takes people to come forward now um, and put their hand up and, and dig in. Um, the three layers of structure is, is really what it's all about. And if we can fill that structure in, um, then the club can really go places and have a positive yeah. future. Yep, absolutely.